Good morning. Good morning. I must do the little one. I must do. Thank you. Ha. Made it down. All right. Well, good morning. We have a um, minute or two before we get going this morning. So we're rolling out our mat. Trying to make our space. And settling in. So if there's anything you'd like to incorporate in your practice, now is the moment to grab it, to have it nearby so you could reach out and use it as you like during the class. You can just use this time to and sit quietly, maybe begin to focus on the breath. You could take little movements just to explore the body. Another minute or so before we get going. And we are going to begin in a seated position if you wanted to head that way. So it's getting closer to that time. If you haven't already made your way to that seated posture, let's do that now. And it can be whatever you like, legs crossed, legs stacked, legs out. Just somewhere comfortable where you can get the sit bones connected down, where you can find a little ease in the leg. We'll sit tall. Maybe closing the eyes or dropping the gaze just for a moment. As we begin to center in, as we invite ourselves to be more present here on the mat. And as we center, let's deepen the breath. That inhale filling the lungs. And the exhale, helping us find some ease. See if you can match the length of your inhale to the length of your exhale. Sometimes I like to give myself a little count in my head just as I get started here with the breath to find that balance or close to. And as you center in, if you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, just something that's speaking to you. It can be a nice touch point here on the mat. And then something you can take with you out into the world. The eyes are closed. We'll flutter them open. Sit tall. The hands can rest on the lap, on the knees, at your sides, wherever it is you like. We'll let the crown of the head reach tall. Maybe that's a little tuck of the chin. The shoulders are dropping away from the ears. And then we'll go chin to chest. Notice the stretch through the neck. And then draw a line with the nose up toward the sky. Stop at any point that your body needs. A little openness through the throat. Back to neutral. We'll look left and right. And left 
and right. Try to keep the body neutral here in the middle. As we look side to side gently. And then we'll find stillness as we come back to center. Crown of the head reaches. <coughs> My apologies. Let's get up tall, left ear to left shoulder. A nice stretch through the right side of the neck. We'll bring the head back to neutral and opposite side. If you notice the shoulders scrunching up as you let the weight of the head fall over, use that exhale. Relax them down. You can always come back to neutral and then try again. Coming in and out of the shapes as you need, exploring each of them. Come back to neutral. We sit tall. We'll bring the hands down alongside body, fingertips touching the mat. Inhale them up. Reach the fingers to the sky. Feel the length of the body. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Nice big inhale as we scoop and reach. Hi, Molly. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll take the left hand down to the mat. Right hand reaches out to the side as we inhale it up. Find that length. Exhale as you take it over. Left hand is in the mat. A nice support. Keep that balanced breath. We'll inhale up. Exhale down. Right hand goes to the mat as we inhale up the left. Exhale as we take it over. Keep the hips settled on the mat. Feel the breath in the ribs. That opening through the body. We'll inhale up. Exhale the left hand down. We'll take right hand to left knee as we gently twist. And right now my body's only maybe angling over that knee. Find what works for you. We're still warming up, inviting a little movement in. And unwind, opposite side, left hand to right knee. The right fingertips are just kind of on the earth, eh, somewhat behind me. A nice support as we keep the spine long here. Not trying to crank into it, just really allowing that movement to be natural. We'll come back to neutral. And you can take hands to knees or you could do hands out here as we take a little seated cat cow. So with hands on knees, we'll sit up tall. Inhale as you press the heart forward, gently draw the gaze up. Exhale as you round the back, maybe the gaze comes to the navel. Inhale, gently press forward. Exhale as you round. The arms are out, nice inhale to open the heart. Exhale with that rounding. Inhale forward. Exhale to round. Find what works for you. You can hold it in each spot here. Awareness through the spine. We'll take one more full round before meeting back at our neutral spine. The legs are out, we're gonna tuck them in. Set the right shin in front of the left. Sit bones connected down as we sit up tall and gently walk the hands away. Folding down, really bend at the hips here. A little helper here might have to 
head out in a minute. Try not to lift the hips too much. Feel a deep stretch through the right side. And then we'll inhale up and swap the legs. So the left shin is in front of the right. If you're facing the short end of the mat, that shin is roughly parallel to that line. We sit up tall, walk the hands away as you hinge forward. Stop whenever your body needs. As you gently fold down, each side different. So ease into it. Awareness on the left hip. Each exhale helping you dive a little deeper. Walk the hands in as we lift up. We'll lift the knees and transition down onto back body. Settle the head and shoulders. The spine is long on the mat. You can start with the feet connected or you could extend. Bend them out. Whichever option you choose, then draw the right knee in. So it may look like this, or it may look like this, either in a full or a half winter leading pose. And then we'll draw little ankle circles with that right ankle, wiggling both directions, maybe getting the toes engaged here as well, embracing any creaks or cracks. We'll give that knee a little squeeze after finding stillness with the foot and then extend the leg to the sky. The sole of the foot presses up. Scan from hip to heel and then point the toes as you bring that awareness down the front of the leg. Little points and flex. Give a little wiggle. We'll draw the right knee back into the chest. If the left leg is bent, extend that leg long. And then let the right knee fall open. Only as far as your body wants. Keep the hips square to the sky. Feeling your range of motion here. Inviting in a little extra space. We'll come back to the center. Settle the right foot on the mat. And then let that knee fall to the side. The sole of the right foot connecting to the extended left leg. You can take the right hand and let it rest on that inner thigh. A little extra weight to deepen the stretch, totally optional. And if that leg needs a little support, you can bring the right hand and kind of hold underneath the thigh, relieving a little bit of that weight. We'll take right hand to outer thigh as we lift the right knee back up. And slide the left foot in. So again, you can leave right foot here. You could extend it long. And then we'll draw the left knee in. So it's just that option for your half wind or leaving pose here. Start to draw the circles with the left foot. Notice how the ankle is feeling. Move in both directions, wiggle the toes, and then find stillness as we give that leg a little squeeze and 
bend it up. You can keep a little micro bend in the knee here. As you extend that leg toward the sky, feeling a nice stretch up the back of the leg. And then point the toes. Feel the top of the foot open, that connection into the ankle and the shin. Little point and flex. And then bring the left knee to the chest. Slide the right leg long if you haven't already. Hold on to left knee with left hand and let that knee fall open. The knee can be as close up to the shoulder or as far away as you need. Body stays square to the sky. The heart is open. That right hand can stay connected to the hip. Extend it out to a T. It can be anywhere in between. We'll draw the left knee up. Settle that foot down and then let the knee fall open. Sole of the foot connects to the extended leg. And again, you have those options for support or a little additional stretch on the left leg. See if you can find a little ease. We'll help the left knee back up. Extend that leg long as you inhale the arms overhead. Nice full body stretch reaching from fingers to toes. And then on an exhale, draw both knees in. Nice full body hug. You can rest here with the spine long. You could rock a little side to side if you like. That might feel nice on the low back. And if you're rocking, we'll slow it down back to center. Take these fingers behind the knee. Start to rock along the length of the spine and use that momentum to draw you up to a nice seated pose. We'll keep these fingers behind the knees as we sit tall. Lean back to about a 45. We'll come onto the toes and then gently lift the feet. Core is engaged, back body is strong. Our boat pose. So from here, you can dock your boat anytime, tapping the toes down. You can hold on to the knees and the thighs. You could reach the arms out, reach the arms up. Ooh. You could extend the legs. You could really play with the shape, keeping that center strength, long line through the back body. Everyone's boat will be a little different. Each day might be a little different in your own boat. So it could be fun to play here. You know what? And if you wobble and you need to tap down, you get a little off, that's all right. You can always come back. You can really just start at neutral and come all the way back. We'll take one more breath here. Lower the feet, let the hands connect to the mat, little windshield wiper of the legs side to side to relieve a little of that tension through the core. Then find that nice seated posture with legs extended, feet are about hip width dip, distance apart. We'll inhale the arms up, keep that long spine as we hinge forward into our Paschimottanasana. Maybe you hold feet. Maybe you hold ankles or the mat. If you have a strap, you could wrap it around the feet and use that to draw you a little closer. Maybe there's a little micro bend at the knee. Mm 
Read with the heart. Inhale up. Draw the right foot in. Let that knee fall open as the sole of the foot connects to the extended left leg. We'll gently angle the torso for that extended leg. Walk the hands away as we fold forward, coming into our Janu, our single legged forward fold. Forward fold, there we are. The gaze is down at the extended leg. Settle the hips. Let the legs grow a little heavier. Maybe you find some ease through the shoulders as the head melts closer to the knee. One more breath here. Start to walk the hands toward the body as we lift up. We'll help the right knee up. Extend that leg long as we draw the left knee in. Let it fall open. Sit bones connected down. We find that nice seated posture. Sole of the foot is connected to that inner thigh. Gently angle and fold forward, stopping when your body wants, knowing that there's room to grow. From the right heel, start to draw awareness through the back of the leg, checking in with the calf. The knee, maybe you need that little micro bend. Maybe you want it. Checking in through the thigh. The quad, the hamstring, moving into the hip, feeling that connection into back body. Find a little ease, she melts a little deeper. We'll start to walk the hands in as we lift up. Help the right knee up. We'll leave, or left knee up. We'll leave that leg planted, sitting tall. Right arm wraps around the bent knee as the left hand comes behind us. We invite in a twist. You could also go knee to the outer, or elbow to the outer edge of the knee. Finding what works for you. Trying to sit tall and twist. Maybe the gaze travels a little farther behind you. Deepening your expression of the posture. And then we'll unwind, little counter stretch to the opposite side and back to center. In the left leg, draw the right knee in. We sit tall, wrap that bent leg, right hand comes behind us, our nice kickstand, as we find our twist on the opposite side. A little ease through the hips and the belly here. Feel that rotation from your center. Continue to breathe. Allow the gaze to maybe travel farther. That could just be in your mind. It could just be visualized. Maybe it's just the eyes. Maybe the head turns a bit. But notice how that impacts the rest of the shape as well. If you find that it's throwing you off, you can come back a little bit. One more breath here. 
We'll gently unwind, a little counter stretch to the opposite side. Coming back to center, we'll bring the left leg in, put toes together, heels together, and then let the knees fall away from one another. Our bound angle, the heels can be as close into the body or as far away as you like. And the soles of the feet don't necessarily have to touch. Maybe they just shine toward one another. So we sit tall and maybe stay right here. This may be what the body needs. Invite in a little movement to explore. If you'd like to deepen the stretch for the hips, we'll lead with the heart as we fold forward. I like to hold ankles and allow the elbows and the arms to help gently press on the legs to deepen the stretch. That's totally optional. Gaze is at the feet or the mat. Awareness drawing to the hips. Take one more breath here. Inhale up. We'll see if we can leave the legs where they are. I have to adjust a little bit so I make some space. And then gently walk ourselves down. So maybe you come on to elbows. And then gently work your way down if leaving the legs where they were and coming into our supine position doesn't serve you. You could bring the legs together, lift them up, and then gently work your way down and return to the shape. There's always variations, always options. Notice how this has deepened the stretch, shifted it slightly, such a similar posture with still a different result. Allow the legs to grow a little heavier. And if you need that support, again, you can bring the hands to the outer thighs. And then all together, we'll bring the hands to the outer thighs as we help the knees back up. We'll let them rest against one another as we heel toe the feet to the edges of the mat. A little counter posture for the hips. Let the legs rest for a breath. Heel toe the feet back about hip width distance apart. Make any adjustments you need to keep the spine connected down to the mat. Walk the feet in a little closer to the body. Heels a little closer to hips. Arms down along our side, palms in the mat. And when you're ready, we'll press the hips up as we come on to the shoulder shelf. Maybe walk the shoulder blades a little closer together. A little tuck of the chin. If you're feeling a lot of pinching in the neck, gently lower down and try a different variation. We want to rest on our shoulder shelf. Knees are in line with the hips. Hips are lifting. And then with control, we'll bring the back body to the mat once again, settling it slowly. We'll send the feet out just a bit, a little wider. And again, that windshield wiper. It's a nice transition to relieve a little bit of the hips. Find stillness. And reset, feet hip width distance apart. 
We'll leave the right leg where it is as we lift the left up, cross the left ankle over right thigh. You could stay here, maybe gently pressing on that left leg, or if you'd like to deepen the stretch, we'll weave the left hand through that little space as we grab behind right thigh or outside of the shin, gently drawing that leg toward the body, and creating a deep stretch through the left side, the left hip. Keep the spine long. Notice if the head starts to lift or the shoulders do. If they do, gently return them down. This can be a nice moment to reconnect with that intention that you set for class. Stay present. Maybe you notice the mat supporting you. Maybe you're really focused on that left hip. In tune with the body. Maybe you're gently scanning for those places, those some tension, where you can invite in a little ease. And if you're in none of those places and the mind has wandered away, that's all right to gently invite it back. Practice to stay in present is ever evolving. And some days are better than others. We'll give that leg a little squeeze, gently release our hold, settle the right foot back on the mat, take a breath. Unwind the left foot as it returns to the mat. It connects down as we lift the right, then cross right ankle over left thigh. Again, you can stay right here. This might be where you're at on this side today. Or maybe you weave that right hand through the space, draw that leg closer to the body as you deepen the stretch. Shifting the mind, that refocus. Breath is steady. Feet have a little ease in them. Same with the ankles. Leg muscles grow a little heavy here. Our arms holding them, helping create this shape. If you feel like you're really struggling through the arms, though, take a little ease. That may mean the leg moves a little farther away from the body, and that's okay. Invite a little ease to the hips as we take two more breaths here. We'll release our hold as we settle the left foot back on the mat. Take a breath. Unwind, right foot connects to the mat. And from here, you could extend the leg. And take a few rounds of breath in Shavasana. We are nearing our time together, though. So if you prefer, you can roll on to a favorite side. Offer the body support as you lift up. And return to a comfortable seated shape, whatever that is for you, as we draw hands together at heart center. 
feeling it in. I encourage you to take kind thoughts, kind words, and kind intentions with you from now until we meet again. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for our yoga practice this week. Hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week ahead, and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat next Tuesday. Bye, everyone.